Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I received this uh, wireless subwoofer from a friend and this is part from GVC soundbar. You will find the exact model in the description. If you stay with me, you will find out what uh, I modified this so I can use it in a classical way. So, let's uh, take this apart to show you exactly. So, now I will present you the parts of this subwoofer. This is the main power. This is a 24 volt power supply, SMPC 24 power supply, the current 24 volts, uh, 3 amps. This was the original uh, module and this is the power button and the payer led so my first idea was uh, I will take this apart and replace this uh, module with a Bluetooth module I will uh, put the part of this module in the description but it's a gigawatt wireless sound and light and uh, I uh, found the data sheet for this module on the internet and I found out that it's not a simple module it has I2 square communication and it's very complex and this output is digital it's not uh, audio signal and this uh, i see i will put also the part number in the description it's not just a simple amplifier audio ampli plus d audio amplifier it's a uh, sound processor with uh, firmware, software and I2C protocol for, mod for volume, uh, tone control and others. And I realized that it's too complicated to modify this original module so I can put a simple wire so I realized that it's impossible to attach uh, to this uh, audio IC a simple audio input for subwoofer input that's why I removed this and I uh, attached this module. This is uh, bought from China. It's Class D stereo amplifier, two or uh, 30 watts amplifier. The voltage, it's, it's good. It's a uh, 24 voltage power input, it's good. I used only one of these outputs and uh, here for test I put uh, a cable. So let's put the speaker. So let's power up. You can see 
it powered up. As you can see it's working good but uh, it's not a good quality because this speaker needs to be put inside the box. If a speaker is not inside the box will make some acoustic short circuit and the sound is not good quality. So now now I have to attach here some kind of connector and a potentiometer for input volume. Let's find the best solution for this. And after that, after I put this uh, connector and potentiometer I will connect this wire for input and will make some tests so I found this potentiometer and this connector I will not I can't put the classical RCA because it's not enough space and I decided to put a small jack mono and uh, I use this to adapt to the cable now let's find the right position for this everything is put together I made all the connection this is the input connector this is a volume potentiometer this is audio cable input to amplifier this is power this is speaker output let's make a final test and put everything inside maximum minimum volume the volume is working wiring is good Let's put everything inside. So everything is put back together. You can see this is a volume potentiometer. This is the input signal. Now let's make the final test. So as you can hear, sound is good, I've uh, managed to recycle this subwoofer. I hope you like this video, if you find it helpful please like and subscribe and see you in my next video.
बाय